Io sono Victor 737, ciao Roma Radar Contact. When ready, descend flight level 100, information Foxtrot, expect RS Zulu runway 24. RS Zulu 24, Foxtrot, when ready, level 100, uh, Indian member Victor 737. So this is set, it's set when ready, so we can wait. To our top of descent is 5.4 miles. So we can already press Alt Intervent. And it's going to start descending. Drag required, not really, it's going to be fine shortly. Excellent. So I was saying, what we can do now is to check that we did everything by FMC right, frequency minima, courses, and rings. So frequency 1095, minima is there, courses are there, rings are there. We put auto break 3. For according to the performance and then we can do the calculation so it's 500 kilos to come off 62.1 we do flaps 40 in Napoli today and we do second attempt reverse now we're gonna ask if we can uh, basically fly what we planned the shortcut uh, Roma India November Victor 737 request yeah, video 737 Roma go Would you be able to coordinate a short approach via ESCOB uh, with our arrival? Victor 737, there is no problem. Uh, you can proceed now direct to ESCOB and expect Zulu via ESCOB. Grazie mille, proceeding to ESCOB uh, with LS Zulu 24, uh, Inter member Victor 737. So it cleared us to ESCOB. It's a very good controller, this guy. So we go to ESCOB. We start going towards there, but we can go level change first. Start descending, because otherwise we could end up high. We'll execute, we'll fly an after, and then departure arrival, RS24, via S-Cope. We execute, and let's see the damage. So s -Cope, we put it on top. And we're on profile. So we did very well on pressing level change. Now we can go back to VNAV. Now we don't expect any further shortcut. So we can recycle the belts. Short flight. We left them on the whole way. As you can see, beautiful view from the Gulf of Naples. So now you want to catch the path, it's on arm and VNAV path. So in this video, we basically used all the required infos that I gave you in the previous video. So we managed a shortcut beforehand. beforehand. So we managed a shortcut at the planning stage. I assume that ATC was kind enough to give us a shorter approach. Once we got a direct, I first went level change, I did everything, I executed, assessed the profile and returned to VNAV. So basically what we learned so far looked like it worked. In the meantime, I'm going to look at my empty seat of the copilot. Hello. So we're going to pre-select the tower frequency, 1185. So it's ready later on when he give it to us. It's a bit quiet at the moment. Not much traffic. That's a first in Naples. By the way, these controller guys are amazing it looks like the real thing i was amazed by it good job guys you remember victor 77 could you send the 6000 feet to qnh 1016 via escob clear the rest of zuru to follow report established 6000 qnh 1016 via escob we're clear for the ls24 we call established uh, in the remember victor 737 grazie So we set, we set the cone H1016 and we put it as well, here we got it. 
So Para Monitoring can put his VSD on his side. So as we can see from the Palo Monitoring FMC, 6000 is the altitude that it can clear us. And we have a speed restriction, 185 knots. So what does this mean? That we have to be flaps 5 at ESCOB. And this diesel point reflects that. Why 185? I'll show you. If I erase this, it wants it to be at 5000 feet. So we would be a thousand feet high. So what did they invent when they invented this chart? A speed restriction. What we did in the other video. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend you to watch it. So by inserting a speed restriction of less than the airspeed that it wants it to be, you can use all the energy later on, in this case that is drag, to recover this path. So as you can see, 6,000. We can expect FINAF path shortly at this diesel point to decelerate the aircraft. So now we're approaching this uh, diesel point on path, on speed. We can expect the aircraft shortly to slow down. The cabin crew are already seated. And we can do an approach check. So basically, we're going to check the frequency, the range rings for the runway, the idents twice, standby instruments, and the courses. And then we'll perform the approach checklist. So the aircraft is slowing down. 7 miles to ESCOB, 17 knots headwind, that helps us at the moment. It might turn on to tailwind on the inbound track. So we can put flaps 1 now. We open the speed intervent and we can match the flap 1 speed. 5 miles to ESCOB. We can put flaps 5 and we match the flaps 5 speed. This one in Naples is a beautiful approach. You pass over the mountains. It's really stunning approach. That's the airport there. The Vesuvius here. Amalfi Coast. The island of Capri, it's really beautiful approach. Sorrento, Capri Island. Let's get back to the flight deck. So, one mile before ESCOB, we can put the next altitude, which is going to be 4,000 feet. So it's one mile now. We can check on the FMC of the Palo monitoring and we set 4,000. Can match the heading. Take control of the speed if it doesn't react properly. As you can see, we're flying slightly below, so we can increase slightly the speed. Remember, even if the automatics are flying, we're always flying the aircraft. We never, we'll never let be ourselves flown by the automation. So the next altitude is going to be one mile before Uruk. We can insert in the FMC, in the MCP, 3,400 feet. As you can see, even if before the FMC would tell us that we would be high, since we had the flaps out, so drag, we were on profile magically. So that is the trick, manage the energy. Again, if you haven't watched the video, I would really recommend to do so. So that's one mile to Uruk, and we can insert 3,400 feet in the MCP. 
turning on final. That's our runway here. Glyzop and Borlo capture. And we set the missed approach altitude. We check it in the FMC, we put 5000. The Indian number Vitro 737 established to 4. Indian number Vitro 737, Roma, Roger, number 1, contact tower, Roma 8, decimal 5, ciao. 18, 5, ciao, buonasera. Torre, buonasera, Indian November Vitro 737 established, uh, 8 miles out, LS24. Indian November Vitro 737, uh, greetings from Roma, uh, Napoli Pavino Torre, runway 24, clear to land, wind 204 knots. Clear to land 24, uh, Indian November Vitro 737. So we're clear to land, and then we assess the situation at the moment, so the terrain is noted. So we can put flaps 10. To keep the speed under control. And then we can put the gear down. The flaps 15 will match the speed. And we perform the running checklist. So the start switches, the auto brake speed brake, on green light, landing gear, auto brake, all the flaps we put 25, so we, we check that the flaps are on to 40, 40 green light and the landing lights that are on. So the checks are completed. Shortly we will uh, disconnect the automatics. So disconnecting. And we aim for the aiming point at this stage. I'm looking mostly outside, aim for the aiming point, and having the fixed image of the runway fixed on my windshield. As you can see, I'll try to be as smooth as possible. 500 continue. And we continue down aiming for the aiming point. Napoli is a bit tricky. We continue at the minimum. Two reds to whites, continue aiming outside. Correct me slightly for the speed. Keep aiming outside. Now we should hear 50 by the threshold. There it is. Start the flare. So speed break up, reverser. We start braking because we have to make Bravo Charlie, which is the first one that is coming up here. So we start vacating the runway. So we Indian November Vito 737, welcome to Napoli. Continue taxi uh, via Bravo Charlie, Romeo Quebec, stand 18. Bravo Charlie, Romeo Quebec, stand 18, uh, Indian November Vito 737, grazie. A lei, buona serata. Altrettanto. So it's going to be a left turn here. And once both pilots are happy for the taxi clearance, we can clean up the aircraft. Only then. So I'll just uh, straighten up the aircraft and then I will clean it up.
So we can start the APU. So 180 is here, we check that it's clear left, and we can shut down engine number 2. So we set the parking brake and we shut, we put the AP on the bus and then we shut down both engines. Then after the command of the disarm slides, we will put engine and then we check that the N2 is below 20% before switching the anti-collision light off. And then we will pretend to be in transit. So I'll put the anti-collision light off, voice recorder on, isolation valve on to open, transponder 2000, and then standby. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. It was fun. I really had fun doing this video. I hope you learned something. And uh, from Naples, I'll see you next time. Ciao.